uh, Jane Street, the firm where FTX is Sam Bankman Freed, Narn How to Trade, the so far the broker dealer of choice for issuers of proposed exchange traded funds that aim to invest in directly in Bitcoin. Uh, Fidelity and Wisdom Tree named Jane Street Capital as their authorized participant. Uh, the industry's turn for the firm that's responsible for steering cash into and out of ETFs. Uh, BlackRock also uh, Jane Street as well as JP Morgan Securities as its authorized participants uh, should its proposed spot Bitcoin fund receive regulatory approval. According to an amended prospectus uh, filed with the Security and Exchange Commission on Friday, and Valkyrie said in its own filing that it also has engaged uh, James Street Capital as well as Cantor Fitzgerald and company for the same role. Uh, uh, broker dealers serving as authorized participants for ETFs are responsible for handling the creation and redemption of baskets or shares in the fund as well as transfers of cash to the mid and from its administrator. Well, it's usually not hard for ETF issuers to get authorized participant agreements. Some industry watchers had expressed concerns that Bitcoin funds would have a harder time since cryptocurrencies are a newer asset class, according to Eric Balchunas, senior ETF analyst at Bloomberg Intelligence. Um, and not every firm filing in uh, an amended prospectus um, Friday uh, listed its uh, intended broker dealer for the role and lining up APs won't exactly be a layup for every prospective issuer. So this was an important step, said Nate Jureshi, president of the ETF store. Based on everything, and we know at this point, BlackRock is the first issuer to complete the SEC's requirements in order to be considered for inclusion in the first wave of spot Bitcoin ETF and all covered for a neighborhood. For the key, were among other highlights from the amended prospectuses filed before the SEC's deadline on Friday, Invesco said that for the first six months, its Invesco Galaxy Bitcoin ETF is listed. It intends to waive the 0.59% fee on the first $5 billion of assets. Fidelity's filing lists its fee as 0.39%, which is the lowest so far, according to Bauchuna's uh, Bitcoin has rallied more than 150% in 2023 uh, amid optimism that the SEC will finally approve an ETF that invests directly in the oldest and largest cryptocurrency as opposed to existing products that are based on Bitcoin futures. The SEC faces a January 10 deadline to decide whether to approve the spot Bitcoin ETF application filed by CAFI, Woods Ark Investment Management, LLC, and 21 shares.